Our next guest is committed to bringing you the best internet experience to any of your devices. And they've been doing this for some time. They know what they're doing. He is, in fact, Vice President of Product for TV and Devices for Opera Software and Opera TV. It is Froda Hernes. Froda, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Thank you, Dave. I am great. So It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, those uh, of us, many of us, over the last several years use Opera, of course, as our preferred browser on many of our devices. But there, it's a lot more than just a browser these days, and Opera is involved in many things. So tell us what you're showing here at CES. Yeah, so here at CES, we are only on the TV part of Opera. As you may have known, you see our mobile browser, you see our browser for desktop. We've been around for 20 years doing that. Uh, uh, but we have the same anniversary, <laughs> 20 it's, years. It's, <laughs> yeah, actually, well, we have 21. <laughs> but uh, <yeah. laughs> so, so we've been around for a while. Uh, that made us uh, work on very early hardware, very very limited hardware. Yeah. Discovered already 10 years ago that that limited hardware continues to be there in the TV C devices space. So even if your mobile now is a high-end iPhone 6 kind of thing with uh, multiple cores or whatever, yeah. your set-top box or your Blu-ray player is a very limited device. It doesn't have a good GPU, it doesn't have a good CPU, and it has very little RAM. So, so, so as, as high-tech as we think those devices yes. are, even new ones, yeah. we're still limited in There's all those capacities. Extremely limited. You buy a Blu-ray player for $49. Yeah. It's shipped from China. It's this big. Yeah. And it contains its functionality similar to an iPhone, if you think, think about it. It's a CPU, it's a browser, it's a YouTube application, it's a Netflix application. Mm. So, so, so that kind of things, we are the enabler because we can bring the internet into these limited devices. Gotcha. So, so that's our market. We work with the OEMs, we work with the operators to, to, to enable internet on, on devices that are not your iPhone. Okay. So then where does Opera TV come into the picture? Is, so it, is this TV like we would expect TV, uh, so providing content? And we have multiple solutions. We don't own content. We, we, we do the enabling of content. So if you're a TV manufacturer, you, you wish to have YouTube on your device, we're a scaling partner for YouTube. So, so we can bring in all the, in, uh, the middleware that makes YouTube work on the device. Similarly, if you wish to have an OTT solution, we have, for instance, uh, pay TV operators that have uh, OTT or wish to bring in more services, more content to their devices. We can bring in an OTT solution, and fully OTT HBO. meaning over the top. Over the top, yeah. yeah. We basically, streaming video. Right, so, right. so we can su uh, support a pay uh, pay-per-view uh, application, or we can bring in applications with with branded content. Say your your uh, Red Bull videos, your um, Quicksilver videos your fashion TV videos, mm -hmm. that kind of content, which is really good, uh, produced by professionals, HD, beautiful videos, but doesn't really have a distribution to the main screen. Okay. And this is content you wish to, to, to watch in full HD on a big screen. This sure. is not content you wish to watch on your mobile. Yeah, right, exactly. So Especially the you know, content that you want to really get immersed into or exactly. enjoy a movie mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. You don't want to be watching on a small screen. No. So, 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 so whatever is driven to, or whatever you wish to have on the main screen, we are the enabler for that. We are not the one owning the content, but we are the one aggregating the content, and we are the one uh, delivering the software that's able to render that content. Oh, okay, very good. Now, what, what, the, where does Opera TV Snap come in uh, to the picture? So I've heard about that, yeah. but what is Snap? Opera TV Snap is a tool. It's a, it's a, a, a tool we created to, to, to go quickly to market with this kind of content. So, if you're sitting on a, a video repository, you have for mobile you have an app with maybe 200 professionally made uh, videos around your product, say a company like GoPro or a company like Red Bull. They spend a fortunes on creating good content. Yeah. This content is limited today to being on the internet, maybe on YouTube, and to be on, on mobile. If you wish to, to, to publish that on a smart TV, we can just point our Opera TV Snap to your uh, catalog and automatically generate a smart TV application, which is fully capable of good navigation with your four-way, and, and and showing your content to the best on the main screen. Wow, so I'm actually now seeing how this can become a, a big uh, competition, I think, to, uh, to others, but how you're staying yeah. a step ahead of that game. It's not really competition because we have, I mean, YouTube and Dailymotion and these guys are extremely good at giving you the, the sure. consumer-generated content, the very short-form content. Yeah. Netflix and iTunes and Amazon are really good at get, giving you the Hollywood content. So, but in between there, there's this branded content, this content paid for by ads, which are 
professionally made, but they are sort of a global niche market. So all snowboarders in the world is interested in this, or yeah. all fashion interested people in the world is interested in it. Or folks interested in tech with Into Tomorrow TV. Could be, uh -huh. absolutely. See, like like your interview should yeah. be on that. Absolutely. <laughs> we, uh, actually, there are interviews. I think Caroline's there. gonna light a fire and we make that happen. Yeah. So we, we have an app from TED, for instance, typically. That's right. also a, a typical brand that has extremely good content people are very interested in, which is very easy to distribute in this way. So, yeah, yeah, terrific. Well, maybe our at least weekly uh, ITTV videos Could we be. can promote as yep. being as part of the Opera TV Snap program mm. as well. Yep. Ah, we so this is two minutes time to market to yeah. get your videos on TV. Ah, love it. There's all sorts of possibilities for a lot of people yep. and a lot more really good content. Yep. And that's kind of the key. Mm. Opera.com slash TV for all the things that Frodo's talking about he and his team are up to. We'll link you there too when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. We'll let Thank you get you, back to your busy booth not so far from us as a It's just uh, 200 feet down the road. Uh, 200 yeah. feet. Well, yeah. very good. So Excellent. Very close. We're back with more from the Into Tomorrow broadcast booth here on the show floor at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues on the Advanced Media Network.